road to Lima, paved with the tears of the Incas, built by the hands of the Aztecs, traveled by the gods of the road, us. shitload of potholes. We just dropped off Patrick, Daniel. I was ready to kill Daniel. I definitely hit space away from Daniel. I'm glad he decided in the middle of the morning in the morning we're leaving. I'm going to Man I'm going to Mancora and then we're going to the Amazon. Okay. Okay fine. Who's gonna watch the bus? You are. Guess I'm watching the bus. And I was Max is staying with me. Again we were being told what to do, we were planning on doing this anyways, but again, everything revolves around Daniel, and that's what we're doing. So we're going to do this whole next few days based off Daniel taking Patrick to the Amazon. 635 miles to Lima, baby. That's how much it is? That's how much it is, according to Tinder at least. <laughs> <laughs> Day one of the split up. First of all, Patrick, if you can hear this, it's because you have your microphone with you, and you guys are recording great audio on something you said would be very loud. Here at Las Noras, we have Tortuga breaching for air. Why are they here? Definitely not because of human involvement. We aren't showing the waters. Here's one about to breach right now. No, he's not breaching. False breach. False breach. False breach. See, when you talk with an accent, people listen to you more. Just finished some of the turtles here at Noras. Uh, yeah, they're just chumming the water. <laughs> you get these turtles that come and swim over there. I never swam with turtles, never seen in the wild. Um, it was pretty cool though. Um, I mean, literally, these turtles were just giving you hugs. You can see from the videos. So, it sucks uh, what's happening, but uh, like the cameraman Max said, you know, some people, some creatures will do some crazy things for a free meal. Just a nice overlay of the bus, as you can see back there. The bed is fixed. Some say you'll lose your mind if you travel to Lima too quickly. I say those are the people whose minds were already lost to begin with. Roll. How's the lighting? Oh, it's, it's early, it's dark, but we'll play. Should the light? Yeah. So we just got to got. Gokta, Gokta Falls, all night driving. Max and I took shifts. Didn't think we were gonna make it, but I punched it all the way through. Max is under the weather. We got a few of some remedies to cheer this guy up. It's gonna taste like shit, but it's gonna be some unreal drug footage, some unreal coverage. I'm hoping for a good three Friday breakfast after we take a nap, because it's six in the morning, no one's awake in this town. And I'm just running on fumes on the Part of a hike, the destination.
shit. We still gotta walk back. We got Gaka Falls right here behind the third largest waterfall in the world. We got an unreal hike, but we're both drenched. We're soaked. Our shoes ravaged. So we're gonna hurry up, wrap this thing up, get back and fly the drone, and head to our next spot. Okay, I'm ready. I am Daniel. I am Patrick. And we found these two, I didn't even believe it, here at Gat Gatka Falls. Now we're heading down this incredible, what is it called incredible, very dangerous uh, route down. Max has got to go out and spot. It's going to be really dangerous. Luckily, Patrick and Daniel are here, and it's going to make the trip even easier now. Just a casual 180. Hey look, the tomb of someone might die here. Will the next one be for us? Stay tuned to find out. Oh. I'll tell you in a second. Lemembamba district. Somewhere outside. How do you say the place again? Chachapoyas? Chachapoya. I have a hard time saying for some reason. We're just outside of Chachapoyas. I feel like we left there hours ago. How do we order? Oh my god, you're the cutest dog in the world. Come here. Come here. Oh, these guys are coming over. I'm not calling you. You're ugly. You're like cute ugly. Yeah, cute good pussy. Not one of them nasty jungle dogs. <laughs> Yeah. Where you are your manners? The road between Chachapoyas and Cajamarca. Not for the faint of heart. We drove through the night, Brandon and I, taking shifts. This is like, this is by far the, the craziest one we've been on. You guys are worried about the trampoline of death at night. I I wish we were on the trampoline of death right now. I don't wish that. But I also don't wish we are on this road. We were fucking trying to navigate this like single lane road on a mountainside with thousand foot cliffs on one side. With trying to pass buses. I just wish we were on the mountainside of these passes. Not the fucking cliff side. Perfecto! You're good here. Don't hit us, please. Amazing! Dealing with bus drivers who would refuse to reverse and wanted us to drive off the road onto like loose dirt right above this cliff. Like, the most insane shit I've ever dealt with. Where do you expect us to go? No, there's no room! Duh. There's enough room for maybe a car. <laughs> oh no no, there's a mountain right there. You're fucking loco. Open the door. Hey, it's not your fucking bus down at the mountain. Just back up to the turn, to the curb. Yeah, Moss, you go Moss. Ah, put the fuck off. Call him a bitch and then he backs up. I uh, consider myself pretty risk averse. Don't really scare easily. Last night I was fucking terrified. I mean, like, after this road. I got a job on Discovery Channel. Jesus. It's like, you can't. Can you turn the. Are the brights on right now? Turn the brights on and then, and then flip the lights in here off. Oh, that didn't help. Kind of did actually. Look at this road is so fucking narrow, and like it is mudslide central. Hairpin turns. It's something with a very awkward axle Gate? axis. Yeah. 
This butt sticks out. This so my ass is going over the fucking cliff every time. In the fucking Game of Thrones. We're the bus. This bus is our dragon. Drogon. <laughs> this bus is our dragon. That makes you Daenerys, dude. Let's go! Jumps! Yeah. In those brights. Hit the brights. Oh, let's go! Let's go! But we made it down the mountain. We are uh, safe. About to go pick up uh, Daniel and Patrick and uh, continue on to Laguna 69, our final destination before our next destination, which is Lima. And now, Lima puns. Lima friend alone. That chick last night sure was a sclema. Churches are full of bilimas. <laughs> okay, this one's a stretch. But you know what they get for everyone's birthday here in Peru? Pinatas and stlemas. My last girlfriend, she was a house clima. I need some clima in my coffee. Oh wait, got a good one. Save the lima. Just picked up the bus owner. See, he's doing better. He had a rough food poisoning skirmish. So now we're gonna take him up to Laguna 69 to drive all night and to hike in the morning. I'm exhausted, but I know it's gonna be tough for me. <laughs> what do you think, Max? I feel like $17, so it should be good. It's gonna be shit tomorrow. <laughs> I was finishing my bus ride in the VIP section. I took, slept maybe 30 minutes. My wallet was in my pocket. When I was sleeping, I took the stuff out of my pockets and put it in a little crevice of where I was sitting. Now I have no cards, no money, no wallet. I to try to figure out how to fix this. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see how we made it this far on our journey, check out one of the other playlists on the sidebar or click the subscribe button below to keep watching our journey. Now come get on the bus with us.